All right, so let's just take a look at some of the results we've had here from our uh, big campaign. And like I mentioned at the beginning, I didn't really expect to make any profit from this campaign. But I ended up um, making a little bit of money so far, which is actually pretty good and actually quite surprising. Um, I did some some things in behind the scenes here, and I just want to explain what I did to try to push it a little bit. I also made a bit of a mistake, so I lost out some profits on that, so I'll talk about that a little bit. But let's just take a look at some of the results here. So, so far I've got 110 sales on the um, on the one for the Montreal Canadiens. Unfortunately, the Canadiens didn't uh, proceed onto the playoffs uh, finals, so I noticed a drop in sales today, but I still got about three or four sales, so I left it open. I could technically just shut it down because I don't know if I'll actually make much for profit. And this one really wasn't that profitable. I'll show you the results here. I think I only made I'll only make maybe 100 or 200 bucks on that. This one made a little bit of money as well. They uh, remember we went and changed the design and relaunched it. We actually made a bit of money on that. And I did add this one down here based on comments, so I added the word white into it. And I didn't throw any ads at this one at all. So this the traffic going to this one is just from uh, me responding to people's comments and also I have a link linking from this one over to the other one and so there's eight sales there if I actually get two more sales um, I'll be able to squeeze out about a hundred bucks from this for and then I can add that to the profit of overall I'm not that confident it's gonna get two more sales but I'll just leave them on you never know it might and of course I just went and canceled all the other ones like I just and ended all the ones that weren't converting to bring any sales at all so see they're all canceled there let's go see how much it costs to make this kind of money here and I keep saying this I just want to reassure that this whole campaign wasn't uh, I didn't my intention this campaign wasn't to make any money I just really wanted to show you the process it just turned out that I actually did make a little bit of money so let's go back to uh, log into my campaigns here and you can see this is the one campaign we had running, so I spent fifteen hundred dollars there. And remember, we did have that other one for the one more that was a hundred bucks there. So let's go and take a look at the bleed campaign. And we could see I've actually done some stuff in here. So I've just paused all those other ones I'm not sending to. And this initial Blackhawks bleed campaign—that's the one where the it was shut down by um, Teespring, but. I redid it and you can see I have three campaigns running for the bleed campaign for Blackhawks and let's just take a look at that first so we're looking at 156 so let's go ahead and just count up this money here and see I'll just open up Excel so we'll do the Blackhawks one first so 156 and then we'll take this one control C I'll just throw it in here real quickly and then 2106 then using the Excel so let's select that and hit the little summation button so $198 it cost to list those and I don't have much for profits there um, where is it you know 213 I will get a bit of a bonus because I went over my goal amount so yeah we're not <laughs> we didn't make much profit on that one here um, this one minus this one what do we got here fifteen dollars not much but you know it's pretty good for just an example for example purposes Let's take a look at the other one so this one was thirteen hundred and let's see how much I spent on that campaign there we spent so 500 and something here oops and then what was the last one 687 so if we add those two up that's how much we paid now if we take this so we go this minus this 150 bucks plus that, so 160 dollars, 165 bucks. We made profit. All right, my phone just went off there. I had to check it and pause the video. Um, all right, I was just talking about the profit we made, which is wasn't that much. 
Um, honestly, I'll probably end up just stopping all of these because it's just it's just not enough money, you know, $150 profit. But in any case, it looks like I pretty much broke even because, you know, we did spend that other $100 in the other, ca other campaign down there. So if we go back, you can see that 100 bucks there. So I made only 50 bucks, but all in all, that wasn't bad, you know. Definitely, it's really good for um, analyzing the market. I can see that there is some potential with the Blackhawks and and also the um, Canadians for selling products. So now I want to talk about some of the things I did in order to increase my conversions. So uh, the number one thing that I always do is after. Okay, let's talk about my mistake I did. So after I saw that it was converting the uh, two bleed campaigns. So if we go to the ads here, I look at just active two bleed campaigns for the Canadians down here. I noticed they were converting. I was making some money, so I went and jacked up the uh, the ad spend per day. So I had to go back to the ad sets. Sorry, the ad sets here, and I simply went into here, and you see it's fifty bucks a day across all of them, but. I actually jacked it up to like 500 bucks a day for both of these for a couple of days and then that's how I spent a ton of money and then I noticed that I was losing money on those campaigns and I was like oh no so I had to bring it back down so I did eat up a lot of my profits there so I probably ate up about 200 bucks worth of profit um, not dialing in the campaigns enough and I was a little late and now that they didn't make it to the playoffs from from usually when I do a lot of um, NFL stuff, you know, if they don't make the next game, they, they lose, all my sales die real quick. Even though there's passionate fans out there that will still buy it, overall, most of the fans, I think, are just a little upset and don't want to buy anything, right? You know, anyhow, it's just what happens. But um, what I should have did, what I should have done is dialed in the ads quicker before I started scaling up this number, making it larger. And let me show you the, the things that I did. So let's just look into this one here. So what I did is, the first thing I did is I went in and I looked at who was buying and what age group. What age group was buying and I found that 18 to 24 was the highest number of sales that I could find within the reports tool. Mostly males, so I, I just went with male and I just kept changing the targets by just hitting edit, edit targets here. And then I'll change the targets in here. And then I'd go ahead and, and uh, save it. Unfortunately, because this is uh, focusing on Canada, I wasn't able to use any of the behavioral stuff and any of the dem demographic stuff. So that's what made it a little bit more difficult. But I could still dial in the age group and the, and the um, gender. Now the last thing that I did, and I did it um, actually late last night, which I should have done this um, previously in the first place, is I should have dialed in the location better. For some strange reason I didn't even think of that <laughs> throughout this whole video, like this whole big um, bulk, bulk sort of case study. I should have done that in the very beginning when I first listed the ad I should have known the target the city Montreal and I also uh, targeted uh, there's also Quebec in here uh, anyhow to really get to the gold I should have just targeted Montreal at first just to see if the shirt would sell at all and so I ended up doing that later on so that's where I sort of messed up a little bit in the first place I should have dialed it in to just Montreal Oh yeah, this is just the city, sorry. Montreal, Quebec, Canada with 50 mile radius. And I'm still hitting 122,000 people. And that's pretty much super targeted because most likely the fans around that area are going to be the ones that are most diehards, right? So I had to do that at the end. And if you look at your at today, like it's hard to tell from just today, but the conversions are actually not bad for click-through rates. You know, 2% just today because now it's super targeted. But... <laughs> they didn't make the playoffs or the finals so this might have been even way better if they would have made the finals let's go back to to it here and I want to show you the Blackhawks I did the same thing with the Blackhawks and I also did something else so there's a way to dig into your your statistics using the report tools in Facebook on where the traffic came from 
from a state from each state or province and this you have to use the old reporting tool and you have to have some data that's been you have to have enough data after I think after maybe like three or four days you can even use that tool but that's something that I don't think many people use anymore but you have to for uh, determining what provinces or states the traffic is coming from and I uncovered something really cool and I want to analyze that right now and let's just do it for the Blackhawks one so let's take a look at the ads for the Blackhawks here so I'll just go to active ads sort here so the Blackhawks so I got three ads here um, this was the first one that we listed after for the new one that um, we changed you can see I dialed it in now to Chicago, Illinois, right down to the city and right down to the proper age range. There are male and females buying, so I left the gender. Uh, gender. So that was the original. So I dialed that in, and it's getting good, good uh, click-through rate. Now the bleed three, what I'm doing is I'm dialing this into Minnesota and Texas. Now that may sound really strange, right? Trust me, I would have never known this unless I looked at a special tool inside of your reports. So I'm going to I'm going to identify this, but I really want to see something right now. I want to see um you can see the click through rate is actually pretty high. Like very high. It's actually higher higher than this one here. And if you look at bleed 4, I'm just going um just Illinois. So I'm just targeting the state and online buyers that's right so this has the behavior of online buyers I know that everyone within this group uh, Facebook has identified them as being people that buy a lot online but even though my conversions are really low so what's interesting is this one here and I want to show you how I came about with this as well but first I want to do is let's go into the reporting tool here let's go view reports and let's look at just the black hawk. So let's go ad set contains black hawks using the little filter tool. And I I just I don't want to see these ones or these ones here. So um, I just want to see Not sure why these ones are showing up. They shouldn't because I'm saying the campaign has to be NHL bleed. That's strange. Well, I can at least go uh, and do bleed. That gets rid of those other ones. So these two here are from the the campaign that that um, was suspended, but that's fine. I can just leave that there for now. What I want to do is go edit columns, and I want to see the demographics basically male female and what age groups were buying so I'll go and hit add I want to see right down to the ad level and I'm gonna go actions and let's go uh, checkouts save columns and so go way over here and you look at the conversion and I'll sort and I'll look at the basically the top four columns here are the ones where all the sales came in so here 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 and here Let's take a look at those four. And you can see they all came from Bleed 2. That was our uh, main campaign there that we had running, that's running on the fan page right now. We can go and take a look at it here real quick. And this one I've changed over the course of the last couple of days, so it wasn't always just down to the state. I changed that based on what I'm gonna show you right now. So if you go over here, you could see that male and female are buying but I noticed the age group was 18 to 34 so that's why I stayed I went to 18 to 34 and now I want to dial in this now how do you do that and so before I just had um, I just had United States there actually I just didn't even dial it into Chicago or Illinois so let's go and take a look at something else here now if we go back and you click on old reports up here just under reports click on old reports and select responder demographics and you can go in and you can select by add and by add 
and you can go Blackhawks bleed two. That's the one I want to look at. Click, and I want to see for this month. And if the data is available, it will be shown. If not, it won't be. And it doesn't want to show the data. All right. So this is what I did before. So I'll just do what I did before. Okay, I select responder demographics and I'll go for May and then just click generate report. And then it just did this and so it kind of it just shows all my campaigns. Like I don't know why I couldn't dial in. So if I just go right to the bottom here and look at um, the Blackhawks bleed 2, you'll see all this bunch of data here. You can see the bleed 2 here. Oh, sorry, that's a uh, Canadians. Okay, the Blackhawks bleed to. Okay, it's right here. And what I want to look at is the region variable. So you can see all these regions. These are all different states. And then over here, you want to see. Okay, this first column is the percentage of um, impressions that were given to these states. And then the percentage of what's this? The second column is uh, the percentage of clickers, and then the click-through rate. So this is percentage of impressions that were displayed in that in that region, and then the percentage of clickers, and then the CTR click-through rate. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Um, Okay, just get back to the data here. And so I already know the age ranges that actually purchased, but what I want to see, unfortunately you can't see who bought, but what I'm looking for are basically in what state did they get did most of the traffic come from? Obviously it's going to be Illinois. You can see here that 66% of all the traffic was displayed to people that live in Illinois because that's what my targets um, produced. So when I selected those targets were people that are interested in the Blackhawks, the age range, um, if they're online buyers, all that kind of stuff. That made Facebook's algorithm show my ad to 66% of the, of the traffic went to people that live in Illinois. Okay? And funny enough, I didn't even think of that in the beginning. I should have already known that before I listed the ad. And anyhow, but now I can go through here and I can see that 60% of the pers of people here clicked, right? These are the percentage of clickers. But over in this column, this is the uh, click-through rate. So you can see for this, we only got a 2.1% click-through rate for Illinois. And like I look through here, and, and then I noticed this, um, holy, there's a 9% there, but where was it now? In Texas, See, at the time when I analyzed this, it was a lot less. So at Texas, it was actually like 7 or 8% uh, click-through rate. And then I noticed Minnesota as well had a really high click-through rate. Still pretty high. And so what I did, but I noticed that not very many people actually saw my ad. Only 0.9, only like 1% of all my traffic went to Minnesota. So I decided to create a separate ad set a separate ad set that will focus just on Minnesota and Texas and in fact looking at this now I should actually include Oklahoma because that's this is the click-through rate even though not many people saw my ad but those people in Oklahoma that actually like the Blackhawks well they clicked 7% like 7% click-through rate meaning they're very interested and so that's the thing this tool allows you to identify other states like New Mexico 9% click through rate other states of people that have fans for Blackhawks that would buy my shirt so that's why I created that other separate camp other ad campaign not ad, ad campaign ad set and you could see I got like over 2% click through rate so there's interested buyers in other states and this is how you do it by looking at the old tool the old reports tool it's a little bit confusing, but once you look for the region for your ad and then just start identifying who is clicking and then better yet, look at the conversion rate, like look at the click through rate to see what states are actually really interested in in your actual ad. So 
That's why I did that with the ad set here of for Bleed 3 for Minnesota and Texas. And I, as you can see, like not very many people there actually like the Blackhawks, but the people that do are actually interested. So that's a pretty cool thing. So the main takeaways here is there's uh, the procedure that I like doing is after you get a bit of data, you have to use the reports to dial in the male or female and also the um, age group plus the location. You want to be dialing in the location by using the old reports, right? And of course, you want to have multiple ads and testing out interests for this particular, um, you know, shirt. Obviously, the main interest is just the team. So um, there's probably some room for improvement in there as well. And also utilizing different things like behaviors. But for this particular shirt, I couldn't utilize the behavior simply because it was a Canada market. So, but the other ones I was able to, like um, the Blackhawks here, the online buyer. So what we could do actually is go back to the reporting tool. Uh, let's, let's do it through here, view reports. And let's go add set contains Blackhawks. Okay, how about so I'll go NHL bleed for the campaign name, add another one. Uh, let's just call it uh, Blackhawks Bleed. The ad sets. Okay, so these are all the ad sets. And now I want to go uh, conversion down to the ad. Let's see if we can compare conversions here. So we could see that the. Uh, I'm going to pull the ad column over so we can view it all on one screen here. So we could see that ad 2, this bleed 2, brought in 14 sales, the most sales, and then bleed 3, this was the one with the Minnesota and, or was it, let me see here, I got a little confused here, let's just make sure this is the, yeah, Minnesota, Texas one, so that one didn't actually bring in any sales, but look at this, we got a sale, this would have been today, from the bleed four, which didn't get a very bit of high click through rate, is the other one. But I think it's because we focused on online buyers, so we actually got a sale out of this one today. But we spent twenty one dollars to get that sale, so <laughs> it's not that good. So anyhow, it looks like these shirts are barely breaking even for me. So I'll most likely just um, end up maybe try and one more, keep it up for one more day or maybe just stop the traffic and start working the comments. So with that said, we should actually go look at some of the comments and see what I was doing there. Let's go to Facebook here. Yeah, let's take a look at Blackhawks. And so the Blackhawks one, we've got 10 comments here. Not much activity, really. Share my video on my wall, guys. step father. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I'm not a huge Blackhawks fan, but this is cool. People are loving the design. I like that. So that's good response. And the Blackhawks are still in it. So that might still be worth it. Then looking over here, I did do another post this morning saying, great job the season Habs. We stand behind you. Win or lose. Can't wait for next season. Until then, show off your Canadian pride for your favorite team. And I believe right after I posted this, I got two sales. So I'm not sure if they came from here or not, but I got lots of activity on this one here. You know, 428 people liked it, 72 shares. Over here, this one got 1,163 likes, 427 shares, lots of comments, you know, like uh, 58 comments. So basically, I just, um, you know, I must have this shirt. I just respond to them. If you get more than one or you buy with your friends or co-workers, ship, you save on shipping, get it here. Do you have other types of shirts? Yes, we do. We have 
Uh, T-shirts, women's shirts, tank tops, and hoodies. Select styles drop-down box located under the green order button on the following page. Just answer questions. They're really simple to answer. You know, someone said, technically, couldn't this shirt be for the Rangers too? I said, yes, technically, since it's blue and red. But the H at the bottom of the bleeding strap stands for Habs. So it wouldn't make sense for them to be Rangers. And then they're like, yep, yeah, understandable. I said that a couple times in different places. Someone's like, are they shipped? Are the T-shirts shipped from America? Yes, I tell them that. But I reassure them that the uh, it's high quality. The shirts are very high quality, and the graphics are screen printed, making it much better than any other sh print sites like Cafe Press that use digital printing methods. Hope that helps. You know, people like that. <laughs> I love this comment. If I walked into a giant X-ray machine on every single one of my bones, it will say Montreal Canadiens. And you know what? I looked at that, that could easily be used on a shirt. You know, that's it could be something to test. Like it is a pretty funny saying. You never know. So lots of good comments. I wonder if I hit any comments. Let me see. I think I did. There's four hidden comments. You know, stolen from the Bruins. I didn't want that there. Do you have any other shirts? Those are real ugly and they have them to make your head snap back. I just you know, people need to see that. There's some swearing there. Take that off of there. Um, I would like to point out the last time I ordered Hab shirt like, like this, there were infringement issues. This kind of this kind of post right here will completely destroy your sales. You know, there's we obviously know that because in this whole video series here, you've seen that two of my shirts got um, taken down, right? Obviously, that's true, but you can still make shirts that are totally fine. I've proved that with this design, you know, and same with that new design we changed. My rep came back and said, no, nope, that's fine. Go ahead and list it, and we're making money on it. So, But when you, you have to make sure you take and hide these. And to hide a comment, all you have to do is just um, hit the hide button like that, and now it's hidden. And if you don't want that person to come back to do more comments, just ban that person like this. But Or you can delete it completely, right? You can even report it. I find if anyone comes onto my thread and starts advertising another shirt, I always report them. Just because I don't want them um, taking my money. So basically they're using my ad money to make money with their shirt. That just makes me really angry. I don't want to pay for their advertising, right? So I just report them and they get them out of there. I don't think I missed anything so basically that's the result and honestly I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with these campaigns because I'm barely breaking even and I don't want to run the risk of uh, losing out on my little bit of profits there so I'll probably make an extra hundred bucks well look at that I just made another sale <laughs> oh another two sales ah maybe I'll hold on a little bit <laughs> anyhow it looks like it's going okay so I'm probably gonna keep the budget low at fifty dollars a day I'll most likely go in and see which one of the Blackhawks ones is making the most money it looks like still looks like that original one we did and just pause the other ones and just keep it simple and each day I'll just check and say see if we're still making profit but I really want to stay ahead of the game it looks like I'm gonna get all my money back that I spent so all in all I think this is a really good um, full um, case study which can show you how to take 10 designs all the way to the end and make some make some profit. In this particular case, it wasn't that profitable. But I've done this many times, and this happens all the time when you you know you won't find a rock star out of your 10, but just keep going, and sooner than later, there's gonna be a time when you spend like a hundred bucks and all of a sudden you have like a thousand dollars profit. It's happened to me many times. My best campaign ever, I spent eighteen thousand dollars to make 35 grand so if you take 35 35,000 minus 18 that's about seventeen thousand dollars profit it was actually around 18 grand profit so around there so that was only in seven days it happens you just gotta keep pushing and keep going so I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back with any more videos for this uh, big case study I think I'll stop it there and uh, I think that's it thanks and uh, enjoy